When you lie, you put another lie to cover this lie. Then to cover this lie, you put another lie. To cover this lie, patong-patong na yan. Pag kinunan mo ng isang bubagsak yan, Sana kasi ng mga buang kalaban ko, hindi na alam siguro from where of I stand. Uh, I'm Chinese. From Yemen. I belong to the left. Hindi mo ako maluko sa buhay. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. From Yemen. I belong to the left. Ikaw ang laruan ko doon sa... You know, you see, when you are friends, you do not treat a friend negatively. If your friend is having a hard time, you do not berate, you do not vilify a friend. And China has been acting more than a friend. You've been acting like a brother. Our country will just go to the dogs in a few years. But the Philippines is a democracy. Our country will just go to the dogs. I'm Chinese. The elite. The dogs. From Xiamen. That is why our president is here right now in China to, to uh, visit the president and uh, the people of China and to strengthen our bilateral ties. So China has already been helping even before we ask for help. So China has already been helping even before we ask for help. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Yemen. Uh, I'm Chinese. Please. We planted evidence. We said that it was this fellow who really did it. This is to remind you Fujian Chinese triad from Jinjiang and Amoy Ziam in China. Murdering of the history of the Eden lost of Dr. Jose Rizal ancestry can be considered as international terrorism. Mi Ultimo Adios is not a poem of the lost sea dragon northwest of the Eden lost but an 18th century international distress call of the jewel tribe of people from sea of the eastern hemisphere or people of the sea in the western Pacific Ocean. You cannot resize or scatter the murdered body of the fragments of the soul of Dr. Jose Rizal which represents the Philippine archipelago of the Philippines near the boundary of Russia, India, and Mongolia in order to move away the geography of the Eden lost to deliberately steal the pearl of the Orient Sea to sell it back to the Filipinos with greater price. In this video you will see how China is tolerating their Fujian Chinese tribe of Aquino, Joma Sisson, and Duterte to speak and program their ethnic Fujian Chinese innocent migrant children through the Lyceum University by a mindset of all their historical lies of the existence of Moro tribe in the Philippines. There was no such kind of Moro tribe genealogy which can be found in the history of mankind, this is completely a political mythology of China, to chart a false historical claim of Fujian Triad of Duterte in all the Philippine territories and to invent land reform, by grabbing the ownership of all the legal title of Filipinos to all their ancestral inheritance. So I have a line in my family, na puro moro. Ready for coalition. Our country will just go to the dogs. I am a dog. The dogs. Believe in sincerity. Masabi ko, what do you want me to do? Shoot the moro or shoot the picture? Kasabi ko, what do you want me to do? Shoot the moro or shoot the Christian? Shoot the moro or Not shoot the Christian, the please. Shoot the Fujian Moro tribe. Now. The Amoy Fujian Moro should be shooted by Duterte. 
Shinano Aquino suicide at Manila International Airport to link his fake heroism with China and the Philippines to cover up 6,453 hectares of Hacienda Luisita they stolen from the inheritance of the native Filipinos in order to hide their crime to be seen by the future government of the native Filipino, so as Cory Aquino, first leftist Fujian Chinese Moro president, Ninoe Aquino the second leftist Fujian Chinese Moro president, and lastly by Duterte, the third leftist Fujian Chinese Moro president. All of these Fujian criminals or Chinese Moro triad can be able to successfully transfer to China all the historical and legal title of the Philippines through illegal signing of unconstitutional treaty with China in Beijing and into the provincial government of Fujian Communist China at the municipality of Xiamen which is the Amoy ancient city in China by stealing the history of patriotism of Dr. Jose P. Rizal. I, I, follow, I will follow the pattern of socialism so governance. Because we have kept our country in eternal poverty. I'm Chinese. It's from Xiamen. Walang masama sa lep. Kaya pa sa oras na kayo na yung mananalo, ay dapat yung mga kinatawan natin ay kalagagad eh uh, magkita-kita na. May bata yan para magkita-kita at magkaisa. Uh, pero at kung ano naman, uh, sumingit yung pandaraya, ay eh, lalo mm. ano. May bata yan para magkita-kita at magkaisa. Akala kasi ng mga buo ang kalaban ko. Hindi na alam siguro from where of I stand. Yeah, I'm Chinese. Hindi mo ako maluko sa buhay. Ikaw ang laruan mo doon sa... Kailangan magkaroon ng land reform. Kailangan may sakatuparan ng land reform. So, yun ang tunan ko sa iyo, sir. Salamat. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Oh. Thank you, sir. And if there is one thing I would like to prove to America and to everybody, is that there is such a thing as the dignity of the Filipino people. And the Americans created the troubles of our country. Bilang punong maestrado ng Korte Suprema at pinuno ng hudikatura, labis ang dinaramdam at kinukondena ang pagyurak sa, sa ating mga batas at ang masamang epekto nito sa ating demokrasya. Nawaiwag na sana pong maulit. Ang nangyari ang malungkot na kabanatang ito sa ating kasaysayan. At sana'y huwag na muling mangyari sa kanino man ang pangapi na metodikal na pagwasak sa mga institusyon, sa simbahan, sa militari, sa birokrasi. Binaboy nila ang proseso ng saligang batas, ang due process sa ilalim ng konstitusyon at iba pa. Nakababahala po ito hindi na rin sa dati demokrasya. Binaluktot ang mga batas na dapat ay nagbibigay ng proteksyon at siguridad sa mamamayan. They broke all laws to fish evidence via means that undermine our laws and our constitution. Mga ebidensya na minanin ni Obra, pineke, kung kaya nila gawin ito, sa pinakamataas na mahistrado ng ating gobyerno. Di ba nila ito magawa sa ordinaryong mamamayan, mag-imbento, magsinungaling, matmaghukay ng walang hanggan? Bakit kailangan humantong sa madumi, sa masama at sa mapanakit na paraan? Tila kaya ay Hawak na hawak ni Ronald Llamas at ang kanyang mga kakosa sa leeg ang Pangulong Aquino.